Today in our 2013 Buick LaCrosse, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Offering the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening, its part number is 36538. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like installed on our LaCrosse. As you can see, we've got our inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. That goes into the connection plate. And you might, if you were down low enough, see just a little bit of that cross tube there in the back. Also, you're going to notice your safety chain connection plate that comes back. They finished off the end of the receiver tube opening with a little reinforcement collar here. Kind of gives it a sturdier look. And with it being a class 2 hitch, it gives you an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening like we said. But it's going to make it pretty versatile. You can use this hitch for hauling needs, cargo carriers, bike racks, or just about anything else they might make for a hitch. Just want to be sure it's rated for class 2. When securing those items in place, you'll see we're going to have one half inch diameter pinhole. Again, you want to choose class 2 rated accessories, but it looks like there's going to be enough room on either side for whatever type you might choose. Your safety chain connection points are going to be kind of of an oval shape. Plenty of room there, so whatever size safety chains you might connect shouldn't really have any kind of an issue there. When choosing accessories to use in your hitch, I would recommend something that has a raised shank. You'll want to use that raised shank to kind of get better ground clearance at the back of that item. For towing and hauling, bike racks, cargo carriers, the hitch is going to give us a 300 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force we can put at our receiver tube opening. And we have a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. So that would be the total weight of your trailer and anything you were to load up on it. You'll definitely want to check the owner's manual on the lacrosse though to see what it's rated for and use whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a few measurements that will be helpful for selecting your ball mount bike rack or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. We've got about 11 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's going to be about 5. Now to begin our installation, we're going to have two bolts that we're going to remove. They're both going to be located on the inside of our tailpipes here. And it's on the upper hanger, so if you come just beside the tailpipe right above it, you'll see a bolt inside of the tailpipe here, just above it, and be taking that bolt out, and we're going to replace it with one in our hardware kit. Right, so that bolt comes out, and we're going to be replacing it with this bolt. This is in our hardware kit. Now we'll torque that down to the specifications listed in our instructions. And we'll do the exact same thing for our passenger side as well. Now we're going to get our bracket installed on the forward connection point. You'll see the arm that comes up. This is an alignment adjuster. We're going to go in the hole that's right here in the end. We're going to be using bracket B. That's the one with the 90 degree bend. We'll be using a half inch bolt. Got the wedge spacer, conical tooth washer. Now we want the thicker portion of this spacer to face towards the rear of the vehicle. Then we've got another spacer. This time the thicker portion should face towards the front of the vehicle. So it'll look like that. Bring that in position. And we're just going to be threading that into our handle nut. Now the bolt that we installed previously on the exhaust holder, our exhaust hanger, we're going to place two flat washers on. And we need those to go over that weld nut. These are going to act as spacers, and we'll do that on both sides. Now we'll take the rear hitch section. We're going to guide it up over those same bolts. Then we're going to place on one of the smaller conical tooth washers with the teeth facing towards the hitch. And we'll thread on one of the small hex nuts. We're going to do that on both sides. Now we'll take bracket B, we're going to put it in place. We've got our half inch bolt, conical tooth washer with the teeth facing in, and our two wedges. Those are going to go through the hole and thread into the handle nut. And we want to adjust our spacers to level out our bracket as much as possible. So I'm going to have my thicker part on the bottom on the inside and up on the outside. You may have to adjust yours a little bit differently, but 
get the idea to get this as parallel as possible to the ground. Just leave that loosely installed for now, and we can grab the center section of our hitch. Now we're going to bring our four carriage bolts down through the hitch plate. We're going to use the four rearmost holes, or the four holes closest to the rear of the vehicle. And we'll guide the oblong holes in our center section over the bolts. We'll place on a conical tooth washer and a hex nut. We'll attach that same hardware at all four locations. We'll place our half inch bolt up through our bracket, conical tooth washer on top, and then our hex nut. Now with everything started, it's time to go through and torque down all of our fasteners to the appropriate specification. Those you're going to find listed in the instructions. Now the handle nut that you've got here, you can use snips or shears or a rotary tool. We'll just trim that off. With everything torqued down properly, that's going to complete our installation of the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver, part number 36538 on our 2013 Buick. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.